Fuck you, David Von Der Haar. That cocksucker's the one. Let's be honest. David Von Der Haar is an esport dick sucking fucking. That's the guy that's out here ruining the fucking fun of Call of Duty. That guy is so esports fucking goddamn got everybody's goddamn fucking Optic Nation head stuck up his cocksucking asshole that he's just like, oh yeah, Call of Duty, I love you guys, Optic Nation. Oh hey guys, thanks Astro, thanks Optic Hex, thanks Optic Nation. Ah, oh, let me suck your fucking cock some more because I love fucking goddamn fucking esports so much. That fucking idiot. Finally, Jesus H. Christ, on a rubber crutch, thank God, they're finally listening to us. Modern Warfare looks like it's going to be amazing, the developers know what they're doing, and everything that I've been saying, and you guys have been saying, and what we've been asking for in a Call of Duty, is coming to fruition, It's coming to light, It's coming to a reality, and oh my God, amazing. Good day to you fellow Call of Duty MLG Alpha male athletes. How are you guys all doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. Appreciate you dropping on by. Check out another video by yours truly. And holy Toledo, finally, finally guys, how long have I been saying this? And how long have most of you, most of you, not all of you, but you know, the ones with an IQ above 100 and uh, don't think a red V6 salvage Mustang is cool, have been agreeing with me on this, but how long has this been happening? Infinity Ward multiplayer designer says Call of Duty games have become overly balanced that it takes the fun out of the game, right? I've been saying this since Christ was a cowboy, since Jesus walked the earth and gave the tablets of the Mormon Tabernacle Preacher Choir to Joseph Smith himself. And how long I've been saying that, ladies and gentlemen, like forever, forever. I keep saying these dudes balance the guns, balance the game, make it boring, make it fun. We're playing Call of Duty. Even though this game feels very, very like, you know what, more realistic as far as a game can become realistic. And even though the game feels, you know, a little bit less of an arcadey, but still yet it felt like the 2v2, like it felt fun, right? It felt fun. You had cool classes, excellent weapons, variations are just great. And this news right here from Infinity Wars multiplayer designer that the balancing of games in the past has taken the fun of it has been what I've been preaching since I don't know I had probably hair. That's what I'm going on about this. Like since Modern Warfare 2, you know what? They slowly, slowly, David Von Der Haar and his freaking eSport agenda just balancing guns. And I always say, you know what? Don't balance them. Make them crazier. Make every gun overpowered. That's why Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, but mostly Modern Warfare 2 was in most people's opinion. And even Black Ops 2, they did it slightly right, but then they started nerfing it. Like the game at first was awesome and then here came the nerfs. Here came the nerfs. Here came the nerfs. Taking and sucking the fun out of the game like an energy vampire. But we've been saying this and you guys have been saying that. Well, most of you have been saying it. A lot of you have been saying it. Most of you who don't think, you know, Korean Savage's Corvette is awesome have been saying that those kind of people my kind of people the solid alpha wolf army kind of people have been saying this and thank god dudes infinity wards co-design director spoke with the official playstation magazine in an interview for their october 2019 issue which is available here some details for the interview were shared from the sccf tech website and it's quote about balancing in the overall game for players who play Call of Duty. Infinity War design Jeff Smith, who was part of the studio during Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 development. Boom! I'm telling you, boys, this game's going to be the greatest Call of Duty ever, man. I'm freaking hyped right now. I'm not even joking. This video was not paid for by Activision. Enter 10% G Fuel discount code Tongue Punch a Fart Box says that recent Call of Duty games have put a huge emphasis on trying to perfectly balance everything out that the fun has been removed in some cases for all players. Exactly. I mean, dude. If these people haven't been watching my videos and aren't subscribed to my channel, I would be very much surprised because everything they're doing in this game is pretty much everything that I have been asking for and you people out there have been asking for, while well, the majority of you who have been asking for you who never ever found a website with your best friend Brock and lost a bunch of money. Those kind of people, us people, Alpha Walk Army, boom, we've been asking for this for a long, long time because this is the key to Call of Duty and what makes it fun, bros. Fun streaks, awesome overpowered weapons, really awesome heptatic feet back visceral feelings when you kill somebody when you smoke that ass like a rewarding feeling when you kill somebody in call of duty modern warfare here 2019 has exactly that and quite frankly look at this amazing i haven't even read this article just looked ahead here holy crow talk about everything i've been saying this is crazy this is like as if i was making a video game he even mentioned it could be because of esports that the games have become so micro balanced for every little difference 
How long have I been saying that esports has ruined the fun of Call of Duty? How long have I been saying this, boys? Like, come on, honestly, let's keep it real here. I've been saying, literally, this is like as if I was given the rights to make this video game and given an interview. This is what I would say. I'd say we balance the fun. You guys need to make it a little more exciting. Need to make it more fun. Make the soldiers actually like you know rewarding and actually have weapons and everything that is actually fun to use. And esport is sucking the fun out of Call of Duty. And that's pretty much what he said here. He even mentioned it could be because of esports that the games have become so micro balanced for every little difference. You know who did that? You know who did that? Fuck you, David Von Der That cocksucker is the one. Let's be honest. David Von Der is an esport dick sucking fucking. That's the guy that's out here ruining the fucking fun of Call of Duty. That guy is so esports fucking goddamn got everybody's goddamn fucking Optic Nation head stuck up his cocksucking asshole that he's just like, oh yeah, Call of Duty. I love you guys, Optic Nation. Oh hey guys, thanks Astro, thanks Optic Hex, thanks Optic Nation. Ah, oh, let me suck your fucking cock some more because I love fucking goddamn fucking esports so much. That fucking idiot. I'm glad he quit. I'm glad he's getting fired. Is the one who ruined the fun of Call of Duty. Fuck you, David Vondahar. Go fucking get electrocuted by your cocksucking fucking. DJ equipment. I think somewhere along the lines, these games have tried to get so balanced, maybe it was eSports. Like David Vondahar, right there, buddy. Eat it, David. It's kind of just boiled the fun out of things when you try to super balance everything. We're just having fun. We want to be able to climb around and have fun interactions. Thank you very much. Eight thoughts, the gold cock of the woke army. You know what I'm talking about. We out here represented now. We have come full circle. And everything we have been saying is coming to fruition because we are the truth and the word. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, smash that like button, enter 10% discount G Fuel code. Tom Punch for our box. <laughs> Infinity Ward is focusing on the fun for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and finding different ways to solve some things versus straight changing up weapon balance. If I can creatively problem solve this firefight, instead of having me force it down the hallway, I can use my brain better. I can get a different advantage. And it's kind of a, you know, a puzzle platform approach. We just want to create more dynamic interaction. I don't know what the hell that even means. We boil it down to this micro level of one-on-one -on -one combat and what we can do to add variability to the outcome of that. From climbing around to you running inside and closing a door that caused you to make a choice. You're going to run in and enter that building somehow. I don't know what the hell this is, guy's even going on about, but I love the fact that he doesn't like esports, it seems like, and has, thinks that esports has ruined the fun of Call of Duty because I've been saying that since Christ was a cowboy running around the deserts of Utah and handling tablets to Joseph Smith, the Mormon church. The command of the community may not agree with this stance, but those competitive players can suck my cock as those players want every item to be perfectly balanced in a way that makes all weapons on a level playing field. Well, that ain't fun for all of us, and esports sucks, and most of us don't give a shit about esports. Infinity Ward has stated that there is esports rules and features set in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, but the details on those have not been announced yet. The esports features are usually showcased closer to launch. Fuck your esports. Go pound sand. Piss up a rope. No one wants esports. Thank you, Modern Warfare. Thank you, Infinity Ward, for listening to people like us and the people who actually want to play your game and spend more time with your game than anyone else because esports is not the majority, as we've been saying. So, esports, all you nerds out there, go play Fortnite. Go buy some V-Bucks. Enter creator code 8 Thoughts. Have yourself a great day. Take your participation freaking Modern Warfare early purchase t-shirt and your scuff gaming controllers and your G Fuel and go fall off a bridge. Boom! Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I shouldn't end there. Gonna end there. Anyways, in closing, in closing, ladies and gentlemen, in closing, we've been saying this forever. You've all been hearing this, except you guys out there who think Drifter is an attractive man. Everyone else besides that, good of those people, we've all been saying that, the Alpha Wolf Army, that this is what we need to have fun with Call of Duty. Esports has sucked the fun out of it. The weapon balancing has just micromanaged everything down to having nothing and everything's so equally balanced because esport dorks and David Vondahar and his freaking troll looking face can go get electrocuted by the 213s. Boom, thanks for watching. My name's A Thoughts. If you're new, subscribe. Make sure to smash that like button. And last but not least, and most importantly, hail to the yeah. This looks like it's gonna be an amazing year for Call of Duty. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you on the next video. Laters.